Good morning. Morning. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> we daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. When was the last time we started a vlog in the morning? I don't know, it's the weekend. We're having a relaxingly productive morning. Yes. <laughs> Another fresh cup of tea in the morning. All right, so, so relaxingly productive morning. What does that even mean? What is relaxing about the Burkharts? What that means is this little girl. Okay, she's sick. We think with the divide over the phone thinks um, that she might have a, a UTI. I want to give a little update. Basically, starting like two days ago, she started having accidents in the house like every hour, which is like and very like, and like big. Yeah, and she she is pad trained, so like she knows like when we're not here to go on the pad. And so she's been going to the pad, which like is good to know that she hasn't been just like letting herself go wherever, but like every hour on the hour. And so that just not right. normal. Yeah. yeah. And so we had called and they were like, well, it just sounds like UTI. It's probably like super easy, but we won't know for sure until we bring in a sample today and she goes and gets checked out. And that was as soon as that they could see her. This is like two o'clock this afternoon. Yeah. So I got up and did the dishes, Sarah edited, um, like it's 11. I got out of bed at nine because you guys saw yesterday, so like we got home late and then didn't go to bed. So we actually mm -hmm. slept in a little bit. Yeah. Um, but dishes are good, I showered, you edited. I have the windows open because it's a gloomy, cool, 60 degree rainy day here in Florida. And I, vi I feel like one of the environments in the world, outside me being in like a high stress situations, like a bartender, which I never was, or a barista, which I never was, would be living in Seattle, living in the glo like the gloomiest place in the world. That cool, dewy vibe, just like ins like brings me gets me pumped, which is ironic. Yeah, it's like the opposite of what so everyone else. It's would supposed say. to be rainy all day, so yeah, I opened so up the windows. Yeah, so we just started feeling good at home, and I'm probably gonna like do some meditation, do my yoga before we go out, and we just kind of gotta take it like. Easy However, either. everything goes with Eve. We're having a PB&J lunch. Wow. One for you, one for me. We're gonna watch Miss Americana first. Yeah. Evie, do you want to go in the car? <gasps> you do? Should we go in the car? Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. So we, we maybe watched like 30 minutes of the documentary. Our internet lately has been just like so poor. Like we can only do one thing at a time, like either have Netflix on or be online on the computer. And so Peter was setting up an email blast for our American Cancer Society fundraiser because now that Grant is going to be doing the Chicago Marathon as well, we need to raise some more money, right? And we're doing a team. So we're doing a team. Um, ACS page so everything that we've raised so far does get to go towards grants so that is great um, but Peter just wrote some more information about it and so the internet was lagging really bad so we'll have to finish it later but now but now it is time hopefully you'll start to feel better she's been I we didn't mention this before she's been fine like she's been playful she's been still going up at the stairs like she is a little bit more like I would say she's been napping a little bit more but I also just like got more lavender so maybe she's been more calm from that I don't know um but she hasn't been like wincing or in pain or you know any of that sort of stuff which is great and that's why I think they think it is just a UTI um so she's been herself but we still want her to feel better because we know that cannot be pleasant or comfortable here we go going to the vet it's funny this vet's like not far at all from our apartment and this is one we've been going to for a while now yeah. but it was like over an hour drive right the reason we started coming here is because um our friend jill who works with animals 
in like the park district here, that's where they would bring like even their tortoises and snakes and everything here because they're like a little bit more like legit as far as like hospital wise goes when he was having that issue. We oh. wanted like a more a more serious opinion when it came to her anal glands because our last vet wanted her to have a really big surgery and you're like, wait a second. So, so here we go, dog room. I love this, dog waiting room, cat waiting room. Look how cute this place is. And then we got a February 1st sign. She's got a little UTI, I think. A little blood. So we're gonna get medicine, and we're gonna go. She's being so good. <laughs> All right, we got some medicine for a little chicken. Yes, some medicine, and we come back in two weeks. I got everything cleared up, 98 bucks later, and a quite tired puppy, <laughs> but we gotta make sure she's good and healthy, right? Yeah, they were worried about kidney problems or like possible bladder stones. So to hear that it was the UTI and that the antibiotics should clear up was, makes us feel a lot better. I got this pup home to rest. Yeah. You're the best. Out the door, headed to the park. But first, I'm gonna get some Taco Bell. Some cheap Taco Bell. She's checking to make good. sure everything's looking good. It's a hefty, heavy, big old bag of Taco Bell. In honor of the Earhart's, we sent a photo too, because we just got like 10 units, I think? Eight units? Seven, I think. I think you got three, I got four. Oh. Peter put on my song. Spotify did. Spotify did. Just as we're parking at a pet. Our windshield never. is so dirty. I'm very, very sad. Oh, I thought we were gonna park on the right side. We've never got to park over there. Last row, yet again. We have a magnet to pick up, don't we? We do. We've been to the festival yet a couple times and we haven't gotten it. I don't know. We've been world showcasing it up some. Do so you guys know I sometimes schmear? Um, this is not good for you, but. Bath and Body Works, hand sanitizer. It's like Peter does not endorse you do this. <laughs> Just wakes you up. You've been you. doing that as long as I've known you. Uh, yeah. That's not good. Just don't put on your eyes. Our cut is phenomenal. I, I want to stay in the Disney Resort very soon. Just us. Like, I'm really excited for the family trip because right, it's going to be a whole that's vacation. Like a full on vacation. But I just want like me and you a one nighter somewhere. We have some chilling. leftover coins if we buy a couple of coins, we should do it. But we're going to the DVC Lounge. I need a coffee. Plus, our friends at Peaches just were hanging out with, and we knew it last trip, but did we announce it last trip? What? That they are DVC owners yeah. now? Yeah, we talked about it last trip. So, okay. since they're DVC owners, we don't even have to wait for them. They we might even be up there. Up. They can get themselves up in this lounge. So, we're going to grab a coffee, hang out for a little bit before we go. <laughs> Look who's here with Yay! us. Yeah. I don't think I filmed it all upstairs. And the DVC coffee. Yay! Yeah. There's been a lot of speculation the past couple days about stopping being vegan. And I think it actually happens. I like honestly think the Yorkshire County fish shop. What do you think you're doing over here vlogging on your camera? On oh, your nothing. Just talking about how I think if we stop being vegan, this would be the first meal. Also, the Peterses are vlogging on their phone because they broke their camera. They should have brought it. I could have magically fixed it. <laughs> so the girls are getting some chips from the Yorkshire County Fish Shop and they've never seen this Victoria sponge cake on the, on the menu before. But I'm sure it's one of their little British treats that they, they know more than us. I've never heard of it. Whoa! That looks legit. Awesome. I didn't even know that was real. What well, is it? It's a Victoria sponge cake. Thanks, well, everybody. Thanks, Victoria. A fry. I had to step away from the, the party people to just show you how beautiful. It is a cool 60, no humidity here in Florida. The sun is just lighting up the lagoon in all of its glory. I mean, it is a festival weekend here at Epcot, so it is, it is full, of, full of wonderful, happy guests, but Oh, it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Okay, if I thought the lagoon was looking good during this golden hour, look at the Morocco Pavilion. I'm gonna be honest, walking around the Morocco Pavilion here in this little marketplace, 
totally forgot Jasmine's back here doing meet and greets. Line is not long at all. But the fragrances here and the incense, I love it. I'm gonna hang out here all day. All right, so we're still in Morocco, and we decided, I think we're gonna bring our love of like, earthly hippiness kind of stuff going on to another level, and people are gonna start burning incense at home. So Sarah's Googling which ones are dog friendly and also ones that have the hoodoo voodoo for fertility. So we went with frankincense. Well, that was all that it is, right? Not frankincense myrrh, just frankincense. Um, it's very healing and calming and used to, well it makes sense, like it was a gift to Jesus. So it's like a gift to a new family member. Pretty perfect. Oh my gosh. With the rain, I've never, like it really rained. The, they'll, they'll be back. But that's like almost the nice thing about these chocolate things. Yeah, like it rains so more can come in. Yeah. Electric umbrella is still open. I don't know, it, it was supposed to close in November, but we were all sad about it recently on the vlog, but you can still eat at electric umbrella. It lives. Alrighty, we're leaving a pot for Top of the World Lounge. Yes. I'm so excited, my mom hasn't been. She didn't get to go with us last time. Right. And she's been and talking about it all weekend. <laughs> Heavily Ever After is at eight. We were like thinking it was at nine and we had all this time, but then we realized that it's at eight. So we gotta get over there soon. For your safety, remain seated. We're at the BBG, Buena Vista gift shop. <laughs> Katie's getting the cutest sweatshirt it's ever. It's so cute. Katie never gets to get stuff for herself, so we're all so happy that she's oh, finally getting something. whatever, whatever. Buy all the stuff, DVC member. Okay. Oh, all I want, my entire goal, <laughs> merchandise-wise in 2020, is to get this Tommy Bahama in size medium. It is. Katie's gonna get the gray one, Peter. There's a gray one? There's a gray one, it's over here. And we can match, oh. So nice quality, so it's gonna last forever. It's not super cheesy, Mickey, but it's Tommy Bahama, quarter zip, and it's thin, but really warm. Perfect for Florida living. Ah! My favorite thing about this gift shop here at the Contemporary is the huge book section they have. One day we will own all these books. But then they've got these like weird ones I've never seen before and then I want like, a photographic voyage around the world travels with Walt Disney. But more importantly, over here, there's this new book that I haven't seen or heard of before that I might have to get. Magic Journey, My Fantastical Walt Disney Imaginary Career by Kevin P. Rafferty. I imagine our friend's dad could have done this, but he just, it's not his vibe. He'd rather just love his plants, and I appreciate that, but they definitely would have let him done do one of those. And I got Bobby's book, but I haven't started it yet, but I will. We're back home, and we're gonna watch a little bit of this Miss Americana before we go to bed. Calling it an early Saturday, I'd, I'd call, I'd say. Time for the vlog to end. 
but it is February 1st, so that means a new month. So two messages today. The first one is the monthly one by Gerald Jampowski. Jampolski? Jampowski? Love is the total absence of fear. Love asks no questions. Its natural state is one of extension and expansion, not comparison and measurement. I dig it. And the quote is by Rumi. There is a voice that doesn't use words. Listen. Well, I like that a lot. Signing off from our bedroom bathroom. We've never done that before. <laughs> um, we enjoyed, we watched Miss Americana and we enjoyed it. Really good documentary. Yeah. It's interesting to see the perspective of all those different things over the years. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of hung out. Eve's mm -hmm. issues are acting up. Yeah. And we... I think like when we left, she slept. Mm -hmm. And now she's like... Her body's just reacting, and it's it's not easy for the pup. No. But. But it's bedtime for us. It had a weird weird day, kind of. It was a fun day. Mm -hmm. But like, just emotions come up. Roller coaster, man. With, with dealing with what everything we're dealing with, um, like a turn of a switch, or like they just kind of were there all day, mm -hmm. creeping, 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 and then. Yeah, the tough of, part is like we are each other's rocks mm -hmm. and so when we have distractions it's easier to be like on a high but it's also hard for like when your moments are with each other because it's like we want to have fun together we want to laugh and love and be joyful together but it's hard because we're the most honest and open with each other mm -hmm. too so you kind of go through the thick of and things when it's just the two of us yeah and you have to deal with them. You have to let yourself have those hard moments, even though they really are a bummer. Right. And that doesn't mean that it's like we take joy in other things more than each other. And yeah. I think that's not easy. But tomorrow is another day. I think we're going to see the air hearts tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Don't know if we're going to live stream. We never talked about that. Oh, yeah. Or if we even have time because we have to get up early because we got to get up early, edit, go, go to church, church, make sure Eve's good, and then mm -hmm. go meet up with the air hearts. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll yeah. go with the flow. It's good, good to be, to be home. home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>